Hey everybody, Lone Wanderer here. Um, I want to bring you a guide showing you how to make ballistic ammo. Um, I'm not going to be doing energy ammo, flamer ammo, um, harpoon ammo, nothing like that. Even though doing this you'd be able to get harpoon ammo, but that's besides the point. Ballistic ammo we're talking about here. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I think a lot of people struggle to get ammo, so that's why I wanted to do this. So the first thing you're going to need to get this process started is an excavator. And um, that's um, a power armor you can earn. Um, I forget what the quest is called that you get it from, but you can get it pretty earlier in the game. And um, it'll help you carry more of the lead ore, which I'm going to show you where to get right now. Which is where my power armor was. Um, uh, it's at Lucky Hole Mine, which I'm showing you on the map right here. Um, here's the uh, golf course in relation to that. And once you get there, you're going to want to come up to this little airplane hangar, whatever you want to call it, and this is the door that you will be looking for. And that will bring you into the mine where you will start collecting the ore. Do not forget to have your excavator on. Okay, so once you're in here, you're going to um, have to fight some ritual people. I forget what they're called. Cultists, whatever. Um, they never used to be here when uh, I first started playing the game. Um, it was just like mole miners or crickets or rad roaches like you see in the wall here. But you'll have to deal with them a bit here. They're not too bad to deal with. Um, pretty much manageable. You'll think you'll have to kill like maybe 10 of them total, something like that. It's not a lot. But um, yeah, I sped up the video a couple times here. Um, I do show most of the spots where to get the lead ore, um, but to be honest, uh, you're going to have to go through here a couple times before you really get to know where all the spots are. Like, you're probably not going to get it all at once. But uh, the first spot is right here in this yellow train car a lot of people miss. Um, you're going to have to pick up that pickaxe and uh, collect it. Now, do not click on it once. Make sure you click on it at least a couple times until you actually see the black from the ore disappear like you will right there and um, that way you'll be making sure you get it all. And uh, you're going to want to be looking for these little corridors, I guess you would call them here. Um, basically off the main route going through this mine, um, you'll find them. They don't lead to anywhere, but they're like a little corridor or a little offshoot room, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, but that's primarily where these uh, lead deposits are. And uh, like I said, I did speed up the video a bit here, but I, I slowed it down pretty much at every spot. Um, you're gonna It's trial and error. You're going to have to come through here a couple times. In my opinion, if you don't come through here a couple times, like, you know, if you play once or twice a week, you should be coming in here almost once or twice a week. Um, it's, it's a necessity for ammo, in my opinion. There's no faster way to get lead in the game than doing it this way. Number one way to get it. I know people that just get uh, take over um, settlements and extract lead, or they'll just go to vault -Tec University and, um, oh, there's a other place, I forget what it's called, where you can get weights from a gym, um, the fire station in Charleston, I know, gives them to you. Anyway, people go there, and I, there's no point of going there to get lead. You can end up with easily over a thousand lead just from this one run. Easily. Um, I probably average about 13 to 1500 lead, but uh, I know all these spots really well. So yeah, this is where you're going to start seeing a bit of the crystal ore. Um, I think that might be for energy weapons, I'm not 100% sure, I don't really make a lot of energy weapon ammo. Um, I just recently started making plasma for the, um, the new plasma, I forget what it's called, no I can't think of it. But yeah, making the that's my first energy ammo. So I'm not too, I don't know too well about that. So I didn't really want to include that in this video because, you know, if I don't know what I'm talking about, you shouldn't be making a video. Um, but I definitely know how to make this ballistic ammo. And uh, like I said, here's some crystal here. I just pretty much ignore it. I wanted to show you here that it looks exactly like the lead. So just make sure you're getting what you want. Um, it doesn't hurt to pick it all up, that's for sure. As long as you've got the acid to break it down, you're not wasting it. Okay, and then you're going to come into this room right here. 
And uh, I didn't find these three for the longest time. And uh, they're right on the wall to the left of where I'm looking right now, right here, a little bit more to the left, cold. Or not cold, lone, I should say. <laughs> Some people will get that. Um, and yeah, there's three more spots right here. And um, after this, there's a hidden spot. You don't want to go past the stairs. That's basically just another way into here. There's no lead over there, if that's what you're here for, unless you just want to look around. But um, up this tunnel at the bottom of the stairs, you get to this little bush here. And then there's a little spot that you can sneak in down there. There's That's uh, another spot where a lot more deposits are, I'm going to show you. And um, yeah, I wanted to go back, just, just so you could get another view. And um, yeah. So you're going to want to go down here and get all of those. At the end of this tunnel, you'll see um, uh, a workbench so you'll be able to scrap anything that you want. And uh, make sure you come back out of this tunnel and then go to the right as if you would be going down that tunnel um, from the bottom of the staircase because there is more lead down that way as well. And that's pretty much all the spots in here. Okay, so you're going to need acid to break this down. And one of the best ways to accumulate acid is definitely having an extractor in your house. If you can build your house around one, very smart thing to do. I highly recommend that. Um, another way to get acid, like I do both of these, um, is to uh, go to Hemlock Holes here and take it over. Because there's three acid spots that will give you 30 acid, I would say, about every half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And um, when you do travel over to Hemlock, make sure you go look over here. It'll be to the right of you when you spawn by this crashed vertebrate. Um, there's usually a Grafton monster. I'd say nine times out of ten, there's a Grafton monster. And I would say one out of three chances for the Snallygasters to be there. Um, I got lucky here and got all three of them. And the reason you want to come over here is because they all have acid. So you could easily pick up another 15, 20 acid here. And um, I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is. Um, it doesn't take a lot of acid to break down the ore. Um, for one acid, I think you get five lead ore, and that's not counting super duper. So you could get 10 acid or 10 lead for one acid. So just keep that in mind. Basically, using um, acid to get lead. It's basically the long story short of this. Um, rather than uh, going to get weights and stuff like that, that'll take you forever, and it's extremely tedious. Um, this is a little bit tedious, but it works so much quicker. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, you're going to want to come to Hemlock here, um, take over the workshop. I collect the asset from the resource uh, placements before I put the resource uh, extractors down because it gives you just a little bit more asset. You know, you got to get every little bit. That's why I told you guys to go over and hit that grafter monster when you get there, too. Acid, in my opinion, too, probably is the most sought out after junk item. I think it's the most important or the most useful. It's the gold of the junk items, if you will. Um, so yeah, once you take over the workshop here, um, the quicker the better uh, here, you're gonna wanna do this because it is, you are gonna have to defend it uh, shortly after taking it over and I suggest just staying here. But um, you, can, I, you can get quick at this. I've honestly done this a hundred times so I'm very quick at it. But you wanna put those two extractors down, connect them, put this extractor down, and I uh, delete this crane here, whatever you want to call it, so I can put the generator right beside it to power it. Um, before you do that or after you do that, I put um, a tall conduit here. Um, I don't have the ones that are uh, placed on the walls or shorter because uh, the higher up it is, the further your wires can go. And it just works better, trust me. Use these ones. Um, and connect it as I did there, and then you'll be able to reach the other two. This is pretty much the minimal amount of stuff you'll need to connect all this. Um, you wouldn't be able to get much more minimal than this. So, yeah. And then that just reaches there, trust me. Sometimes I have to move it over just a little bit, but you can connect them. Um, these two extractors as well, sometimes they don't want to connect. It doesn't want to let you connect a wire. Just try connecting the opposite one if it doesn't work, and uh, it'll eventually work. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, after you defend it, like I said, you'll have to, right after you take it over, um, you shouldn't have to worry about it for a while. And I um, want to show you another great way to get acid here is Tanagra Town. And um, if you're not familiar with this area, um, be careful because when you do spawn there, there could be um, a pretty big enemy, usually like a glowing uh, Deathclaw I see most of the time. Um, I have saw uh, glowing, or not, a, I don't know if it was glowing, but a sloth, mega sloth. And as you can see, I have a glowing fog crawler here. 
So just be careful, because I fast travel there a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go get some acid, you know, and um, I forget that uh, those animals are there or whatever, or creatures, whatever, and I'm not in a power armor. And it, I'm just saying, just be careful. Um, so you're going to want to climb up to the top of this tree after you spawn there. Now, there's videos on how to do this, because this helps you get the uh, Nuka Quantum paint job for your power armor. Um, it, with practice, it's not hard to get up here. As you can see, I got up there pretty easy. I did fall, but it's it's pretty easy. Being a power armor, if you fall, you'll die if you're not. Um, and the reason you want to come up here is is all these crickets that you're seeing here. And if you don't know, crickets have tons of acid. Um, every time you come here, you can get anywhere from like 30 to even 60 acid easily. And that's a lot of acid. That's like hemlock holes filling up twice. You know what I mean? Or more. So, you definitely want to come here. It's probably the best way to get acid, in my opinion. And, um, so the last thing you're going to need to make ammo, this is almost like an acid or a lead tutorial, I should say. I'm breaking down lead tutorial. But, um, yes, the next component you're going to need beside acid and lead is steel. <clears throat> of course, you're going to need gunpowder, too. I'm going to get into that. But, uh, the best places to come for steel are these three spots right here. West Tech and the place above it and below it, which is Huntersville and Satellite Array something, I think. So anyway, you want to come here and um, just kill enemies, uh, pick up all the guns, um, energy weapons don't give you a lot of steel, they do, but they don't uh, give you a lot of, they give you lots of components, but they don't give you a lot of steel, it's usually like one steel per charging laser pistol or something like that. Um, and yeah, uh, make sure you have the scrapper perk on when you're doing this, I'm going to show you later as well. But yeah, just come to these three places, um, kill all the super mutants, um, it's also great for ranking up. Um, and like I said, make sure you're picking up all the guns, like knives, uh, sledgehammers, um, uh, rifles, um, that's the combat rifle and the sniper rifle, um, bazookas, gatling, or not gatling, gun, well, you won't see any gatling guns, but mini guns you will see, that's like 20-something steel when you scrap it with, uh, scrapper on. And, uh, I'm gonna show you here how much steel I get. the last place as well that we go to so this is all the steel that I accumulated as well from going to these three places I cleaned out my junk on my person before I came and did this to show you how much you can end up with so like I said went to these three places this is a good amount that you'll probably end up with probably give or take you know 50 maybe to maybe a hundred I doubt it but uh, I usually end up with this amount which I'm going to show you soon good place to scrap is right here as well too in that little trailer so um like i said make sure you have a scrapper on them it's under here or here under intelligence i wanted to show you um it's only one uh perk i actually just leave it on all the time it's definitely one of those ones you don't have to have on all the time but i do just so i don't forget and uh then you're just going to want to scrap guns look at all the steel i'm getting um 18 18 18 18 9 9 9 you know like <laughs> it's ridiculous and I had more than that, but I did scrap once at West Tech, too. So I was just finishing up what I had there. And uh, I'm going to show you how much uh, steel I have now. This whole process won't take you much more than an hour. Um, so 820 steel I got from that little run. That's a lot of steel. You know, you could do this run alone in probably 20, 25 minutes. So, you know, you're talking like almost 2,000 steel an hour. Um, okay, so yes, getting into making the ammo, you want to have Super Duper on. Now, that increases the chances that it might double when you make it, and you're constantly making it. It's like click, 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 so it's going off a lot. Trust me, have Super Duper on, and you're also going to want Ammo Smith on under agility. Super Duper's under luck, Ammo Smith is under agility, and you're going to want to rank Super Duper to level 3 and Ammo Smith to level 2. Don't need to have them on all the time, but when you're making ammo, definitely want them on. Okay, so, like I said, the last component you're going to need, too, is gunpowder. And um, gunpowder is fairly easy to make if you have acid. Um, another reason you go to West Tech, too, is um, you'll pick up a lot of gunpowder. But um, gunpowder is very easy to make if you have acid. It does take up your acid more than anything. Um, smelting the lead ore into lead, I think, is one acid per five. Um, but you do get 15 gunpowder per three acid here, as you can see. So, like I said, acid's very important. Um, yes, I'm going to show you too. Um, this is another place to get cloth too. 
Um, you can come to Camden Park, and there's paper cups and, like, paper plates everywhere. Um, and that's cloth. Like, you can pick those up for days. And, you know, you, you'll pick it up anyway. Pre-war money is cloth. Make sure you're picking that up. Um, it doesn't weigh a lot. Um, but if you're in need of it for some reason, I suggest coming to these two places. Some fellow on Reddit actually told me about that, and I've never had to go. So, um, before you make ammo as well, you're going to want to smelt the, uh, the lead ore as well. I'm just smelting everything here really quick before I get to the lead. Um, like I said, make sure you have those perks on. And um, if you got, I got almost 500 lead ore from the cave. Um, you might get three to 400, you know, depending on how good you know the area. Trial and error, right? You got to keep doing it. Um, and this will take a long time. Uh, it takes about two or three minutes to click that button. Like, I think I had to click it here, I would say, 200 times I probably had to click the button to finish smelting the ore. Um, but you're going to be happy with all the lead you end up with. And I ended up, or I ended up with uh, 1,500. So you'll get over 1,000, no problem. And that's going to be tons of ammo for you. Trust me. If you did everything I just said, you're going to get tons of ammo. Trust me. Um, so here I am making gunpowder, and I didn't want to do that before, I wanted to do that before I make ammo, um, because it's not good to have it on your, uh, in your stash box, in my opinion. But, um, as you can see here, I ended up with 64,050 rounds, and, um, of course you're not going to end up with that much. Um, I had about 10,000 steel, so if you have... A thousand steel, there's no reason you shouldn't end up with 6,400 bullets every time you do this. And that's a lot. And you don't necessarily have to make 50 cal, you know? Um, yeah, pretty much as easy as that, everybody. Um, you can make 5 millimeters, 5.56s, 10 millimeters, all this stuff from doing the strategy. From getting the lore, or the, the lore, <laughs> from getting the lead ore, smelting it down by using the acid, and. Um, uh, gunpowder. Gunpowder is very easy to just craft. Um, yeah, don't be buying your ammo from vendors or stuff like that. Like, I don't know why f people love 5.56s so much other than the fact, I guess, it's currency. But um, you can make tons of this stuff. Um, anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Take care.